Hello viewers, in this video tutorial we will discuss how to create dynamic charts with radio button or option button where you see here if I check a specific country so here the graph is also according to that country and you can see here it's dynamic in whichever country I select not only the graph but the title also changed for that for example here it says target for Pakistan when I select India it says target for India, target for USA, USA, target for Bangladesh. So in this way, this is a dynamic chart which you can use in your dashboards in infographic. And here you have this option, whichever uh, country you select. So the chart changed to that country and the title also changed to that country. So how we can create such type of dynamic charts in Microsoft Excel? In this session, we will discuss this. So let's start. So for example, this is our data against different region. These are the projects and these are the targets. And we are going to develop that type of chart, dynamic chart for this. So the first simple thing here, we will need some raw data, some working here uh, to extract a specific information. For example, if I am uh, developing a chart, so that chart would be uh, dependent on the uh, region that whichever region is selected, so only that data would be visible so for that let's first take those uh, radio buttons the option button so uh, you see here this developer tab if you don't have this developer tab available so a simple way is go to file option in the option go to custom ribbon in the custom ribbon here in the main tab you will see this developer tab if it is unchecked so check it and okay so it will be available to you Go to insert in the insert. Let's take these option button. These are the option button. So let's take one. So here we have the option button. Now this is option button five. I, I will use here the name of the countries. So here this first country name is Pakistan. Then just press control and drag it. So it will give you another copy. We need three four countries so four copies with control D or just control here I need India here I need USA and here I need Bangladesh now right click any of the button format control in the format control cell link I will link it to this cell here I will place some information from these buttons so I will link this cell any cell that you want that you can hide later on no issue okay so here you see it's type 1 now when I click India it's 2 3 4 so it has given these 1 2 3 codes to these countries now we need filter function to have a filter against these countries of this information so if you have the latest version you can use this filter function if you don't have so i will show you another way at the end so first here we will use filter filter small bracket what i am going to filter the array this is the array that i want to filter i just want project and targets okay i just want these two so i will filter only these two so filter small bracket this one this one and range it now include for the include I need these countries so include this one the region include this region and what it should be equal to it should be equal to now I will I can click this cell that whenever I click a specific country so it would give me here a number so it should be equal to that number but you see here we don't have number here we have the country names so here again uh, instead of this f2 we can use a formula switch formula you would have heard about this formula if not so let's see switch formula what is this switch formula switch formula is convert these codes to actual name so what is the expression the expression is this one now value 1 so here you here we have already seen that Pakistan is one, India two, USA three, and Bangladesh four. So value one. If it is one, so what it should be? 
after the comma in the inverted commas i will type pakistan inverted commas close then two inverted commas two is india then three then inverted commas uh, usa then inverted commas then comma then the fourth one is bangladesh so four is equal to bangladesh so here you can see now four the four is bangladesh here you see bangladesh so these four names have been filtered here now if i select usa so you can see the usa names are here india so the india's name you can hide this cell or you can change the color so here now we have obtained that filtered information you see here yeah 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 now let's develop a chart on this one now so select the data go to insert now there would be a problem one another problem we will we will face so how to solve that problem let's see so let's first make a graph go to charts we will take this bar chart here so here we have this chart now let's add values add data level so values are. now you see if i select any country so here you can see that the chart is changing now what is the problem here in pakistan there are only three names three project but in india there are four so the chart is not getting the fourth one because it is stuck on those three you see now what is the function that i can use to tell this chart that you should extend your range if there are more than three if there are five six seven so there might be different if all the countries have same number of projects then it's okay but if not then this range should be dynamic but for the excel the problem is if you see here in the select data so here in this data i cannot do any formula or anything that can extend the range but the easy option with me is what we will do instead of this um, data range i will make name managers and will use those name managers here let's see and i will tell you another function which is this uh, hash function what is the function of this hash and these formulas so let's go to formulas name manager define name i am going to define name targets name manager now here i will select this first cell only will not range the whole table select first cell only and then use hash now what is the function of this hash it means that see the first cell and go down up to the cell wherever there is an information so if there is a country where there are more than three projects so it will it would get in the range that cell also okay now you will see there would be a problem when i click in this range so it is selecting both the columns not only the one column because i have used this hash so it's going this way also and this way also so what i will do here i will use the index function here i will use index small bracket here i will use a comma after the comma the index function ask for a row number so i do not need row number i will keep that blank i will type another comma after that second comma the index function ask for a column number now i need that because i need columns so this is the column one this is column two here i need this is the target name manager so i need this column two so i will just type column two and close okay save now you will see when i select this so it is only you see it has only ranged the target column now i will just copy this whole function create a new name manager for the project because i need a name manager for both the columns so for the projects i will use the same function but just instead of this two i will use one and 
Okay. Now just to get rid of though these wide spaces, we have already developed name managers. So instead of ranges for this, uh, we will use that name manager. Right click inside the chart, select data. Now here we have two types of data. One is this one and one is this horizontal one. So first we will edit this one. Here as I told you this is the range. So I will not remove the option button. I will not remove the sheet name. This is the sheet name, the reference to this sheet. I will just remove this range and here you see we have already developed a name manager which was targets. So I will use that targets and OK. And in this one, this is for the project. So edit. And here also I will just remove the range and will use that name manager projects. Now you will see when I select India. So there are four. So it is ranged all four. When Pakistan. So there are three. So it has selected only three. When I select Bangladesh. So there are four. So it has selected four. Now for this country. So it should give me here targets for that country. This. Uh, title of the chart should change automatically with the selection. Here in a cell, I will make a simple thing. Here, if you remember, here we have this code. So, whichever country I'm selecting, it's going to that code. So, I will make here a function, a formula in the inverted commas targets for space, inverted commas close, and then I am using the end function concatenate. Now targets for and after that it should give the name that has been selected. So here I can use that same function which I use the switch one, the switch function. That whenever there is one selected so it should give me Pakistan, when two India, when three USA, when four Bangladesh. So I can just use that uh, function from here that I have already used. So let's see it here. We have already used in this formula. This was the function switch. So just copy it. And here instead of this range, I will paste that. Okay. Now you see Pakistan is selected. So it says target for Pakistan. When India is selected, so it says target for India. So I will now link this uh, cell with here. And here just you need click. The title of the chart, if there is no title, just click your chart, insert a text box. Now go to the formula bar as equal to this. It should be equal to this cell. Okay. Now you can hide this cell. So hide it and this one also. Now when you select Pakistan, so it says target for Pakistan and the chart. When you select India, so it says target for India and the relevant chart. When you select USA, Bangladesh. So you can create such type of dynamic charts and you can remove these grid lines. From here you can remove these X's also. No need. And here now you just. So you can play with all these functions to create dynamic charts for your project. You can make such type of dynamic chart with selections from the slicer and tables also. For example, if you don't have uh, this latest version to use the filter formula etc. Let me show you another simple example. Here you won't need any function or formula. Just select your table. First you need to convert it into a table. So press Ctrl T or in the insert press table. Either Ctrl T or table. So here it would ask where is the data for the table. This is my data. My table has header. Yes. Okay. Now this is a table. If you want that this format I don't like. So just go to this place in the table design here and click clear. Clear table style. So you will have the same table that was originally developed. But this is now in the table format. Now I can apply here slicers. Insert. This is the slicer. Slicer on which column? I want it on the region column. Okay. So here I have this slicer now. Now if I select a country. So you see 
the table is filtered to that country only any country that you select and in the above one you do not have the option to select all of them but here you have the option to select two if you want these two so select both of them if you want these three select all the three if you want all four so select all four if you just want to see only one so you can look at one if you want USA and Bangladesh only so click USA and with control click Bangladesh also so you will see USA and Bangladesh so this filter option can give you a lot of now if you develop a graph so that would also be a dynamic according to this filter now if you see when you have a slicer so here you have in the slicer the designs options you can change these designs and you can here uh, change the columns for example now these are in the rows if you want the columns to be two two so now you can see it you have a lot of space saved now if you want it to be like this in the line so make it four because we have four countries so change it to four and you can now reduce the size so it will show like this now whenever you select anything so that is going and if you want to clear the filter so clear from here now you have this now let's develop a graph a chart on this data select my data I do not need the country to be added in the chart I just want these projects and targets go to charts here I added the you see the bar chart now I can see the whole information but if here in this slicer I select only one country for example if I select Pakistan so I will see only Pakistan related India so India Bangladesh so Bangladesh and you can see the filter is dynamic when I select a country where there are more than uh, four so it's auto filter to that range only this is also working here we added these formulas and functions and then these buttons now here we just converted our table to a table and added a slicer on the country and the region column and now our graph is also dynamic if I have selected all so it will show me all the details if I have selected just one country so it will show me only that specific country so you can play with this in this way also if you visit my channel if you want to learn microsoft excel powerpoint access ms word and mail merge then other tricks of the microsoft excel and other softwares these other playlist of learning online data collection kobo ms form google form for collecting online data data analytic project management series is there is a playlist for ms excel beginners also windows and all these playlists single playlists are also available so you can uh, benefit from all these sessions which are free of cost and you just open it and watch them and learn and improve your productivity. There are these uh, beautifully designed uh, PowerPoint presentations, how to make these PowerPoint presentation and every video has a detailed step by step tutorial. So visit my channel, subscribe, like and share and comment, learn and improve your productivity. Thank you.